Hi, I'm Chris Max, and I wanted to just give you a little brief introduction into the distance throw. So, in comparison to the regular throw, where you put yourself in the position with a run up or just like I do right now, standing, you pull back and you bring your hip back, your upper body, and the arm just follows with the rest of the body, and you initiate the throw. In the, in the same order as you go back. So you initiate with the hip going forward, the upper body following, and the arm being the last piece, the last link. And the difference between that throw and a distance throw is that you kind of do a, a so-called 360. So you're running up almost in the direction where you want to throw and take the speed yeah, like of your run into the throw. Results for the first round. So basically first take those steps in the junior division. and run forward. And while Coming you're running, you turn Tobias Cole. Oh, and then you, you do the same thing. But you already have a little bit of speed okay. of your run up. And then, uh, Jeff and Kevin and do the Paul same Harry. hip, upper body, first arm first rotation. First round. Just one and more time and maybe now in, in the real speed. For the women's. And so, in order, in seventh place was Susie. So in like that, you never have to stop. Riley. You have a fluent motion. In fifth place was and that's, I guess, is one of the key things to, to learn yeah. a distance throw versus a golf throw. And um, uh, I think key um, to understand, to, to, to get more pace. power, is to not only arm a throw, but to to basically use the entire body in All one right. fluent and motion. Place was Pam. And... Um, and this is this is really key third place that was it becomes Tita smooth Bethany. and no, because that's Tita what Bath. gives you speed Tita Bath, excuse me. Oh, I care. In second place that's pretty much it from the grip i think the grip in first place Brown, it really depends Ron, on your sti the size of your hands um, i use a so-called so fan grip which is uh, kind of a loose grip it's more like a, a pinching i don't ever bring the fingers all into the rim but some people do that it's kind of a feeling thing so this will be my grip. What's uh, what's the farthest throw that you've ever? What's the farthest distance you've thrown a, a frisbee? Um, the the longest throw in meters was 232 meters, and uh, pretty perfect conditions though. I mean, we had like 20 mile an hour wind, tailwind. So you are you usually for the long throws you want to have as a right hander the wind over your left shoulder. Is that where you get the most distance? Um, but it's very hard to to compare whether this was the best throw because I've done throws with a little wind over 200 and that might actually have been the better throws. But that is the longest distance. And am what, I, what am disc I, do you prefer for distance? Um, well, right now I think uh, the Nuke uh, is, is the best disc. Uh, and uh, I'm a bit biased because I'm still supported by Discraft. Um, but it's very, very fast and it just does what you need. Uh, and it's, uh, the speed is pretty amazing. That, uh, and that, that's key. And it has enough float. I mean, there's this, they could float more, but they don't penetrate oh, well, as quickly as Nuke does. And come out, try it. Try it, rip it. And uh, Big D is the event on dry legs because there's no restriction in terms of what direction you can throw. And that's, uh, that's pretty fun, actually.